What's happening? No! No, please, Mommy! Oh, God. What happened to you? Wait. I know you. You were that boy. Bernard, was it? He was trapped there, just like I was. I knew his name, but somehow that wasn't enough to send him away. It was like a part of him was missing. where those bolt cutters are. So close, and yet so in a different reality. Burn, you little fucks. This was yours, wasn't it, Bernard? It's about time you got it back. like the one I used to get through the mirror. Feels like it, too. Between worlds. There was no escaping it. There's those bolt cutters again. Gotta be a way to reach them. Great. Another mirror.
New details have emerged. The situation may be more complicated than we expected. No time to explain. You'll get the full report once I get back. Just leave it to me, comrade. Very meticulous of you, comrade. Locked. Oh no, oh. there's more of them. Get out of me. What has it done to you? No names, no faces, no way to help them. Just like Bernard. Some sort of a conference room. I gotta go. The voting's about to start. You know what they say. If you're early, you're on time. No, I mean right now. I can hear them gathering across the hallway. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know how it went. That voice. That's the guy. list. I'll bet the name I'm looking for is here on this page. But which one is it? I can't believe they sat me across from Boris. I don't care whose nephew he is. He's just a sexist pig for all I care. And late, as always. the guy he was talking about. Seat number nine. This is it. The man I'm looking for. This is where he died. That's it. Nicholas. Okay, Nick. Let's get you out of here.
for you to get some rest. You've earned it, Nicholas. <sighs> Thank you. One to go. Better get to it. here. At least, not in this world. There we go. close. That woman was here. Oh. She was a ballerina? This room has Guy written all over it. 
in big sloppy letters. Nice card. Was Vivienne one of your stars? Okay, last one. I can barely feel my wrist. I don't care. I just want to go to bed. I need to be alone. There. That's her room. Someone couldn't even let her have her privacy. Vivienne? Just Vivienne? No. Probably just a stage name. The artist formerly known as Vivienne. This is where it happened. Ugh. Of all the places. You? What are you? No! Get out! Ah! No! Uh, no, not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. And still no name. There's gotta be something. Okay, let's find out who you really were, Vivian. Partial numbers. One of these must have meant something to her. I guess one of these names belongs to your true self. But which one is it? I still don't know her real name. Just words. Sounds without meaning. page was torn out. I can't make out the numbers. There. A bunch of numbers, some would say. But I sensed there was a lot more to them. Hello? Oh, hey. Are they asleep? It's fine. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. The big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? Not exactly a hotbed of passion. Yes. Yes, Mother, I know. I'm doing my best. What? No, I... Well, what about my hard work? It's not always about you. Don't call me Victoria. You know I hate that. Victoria. That was her given name. But not the real one. Not to her. Hello? Yes, this is... Vivian. Room 347. I want to make a complaint. There was a man here. Yes, from the hotel staff. Frankly, I think I smelled vodka on his breath. He... What? That was the chief of staff? Uh, you know what? Never mind. Thank you. Well, it's a stressful job, I guess. Oh my 
God, Ellie! I thought you were... No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? But... Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. Ellie... She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. So... If you were talking to Ellie, that means... Tori, it's you. The real you. That's your name. It made sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be. Moments like that used to keep me going. Now, I'm not sure anymore. better than here. Will you just let me pick you up already? Place. This is where it started. Hello, my love. It's your favorite nurse. Are you in there? Even the speck that you left? I hope so. Because I want you to feel everything. The nurse got to her first. But why? I'd never felt darkness like that before. That thing had been there. It was where it made its first kill. Where it tasted death. And liked it. So worth it. 
I love you, bolt cutters. Kinda sounds like a spy name. Cutters. Bolt cutters. Or a movie star, like in a movie you don't use your real name for. Yeah. Spy name it is. Okay, Marianne. Let's see what Sadness wanted me to see. I hope she's all right. All right, here we go. God. You're all right. I was so worried. <laughs> oh, yeah. That thing almost got me. What the hell is it? Uh, it came from shame. From helplessness. From rage. Rage? It's like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, just like the others. I won't let it hurt you, I promise. Why don't you tell me something about this place? It, it's the day room. We used to play here. <laughs> With Richard? Is he one of your friends? Uh, no. But he was smart. Maybe he could help you. He was smart. Wait, is he...? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. I remember he, he became hollow, like a puppet. He... Oh, I remember. Marianne, I don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No, don't tell them. Well, it, it's don't okay. tell anyone. You don't have to tell me. But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No! No, Marianne! The sadness! No, never again! Why did you... bring me here? It was then I realized there was something she wanted me to see. With my own eyes.
Richard? Are you there? A sheet of music. Well, at least part of it. Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... All right. I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what Sadler said? Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lilian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Uh, why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lilian, I, I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. There's a sense of loneliness coming from it. It feels... incomplete.
show me a way out of here. Spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. Aha! Uh -huh. Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? Richard, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. So, he brought him here. Hmm. Wonder who he meant by them. That's how you found him? Yes. He was just lying there. He... Uh... Mr. Echo? I, I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just... Uh, need a moment. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he... deserved it. I love this melody. It reminds me of my childhood. Or at least the good parts of it. But the bad parts, they're always there, aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that, don't you? You're special. Her voice, is that sadness?
My arms are getting tired. You've been drawing me for hours. Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the ferocity of adult lives. Richard. I'm getting a weird vibe from him. There's grief, sorrow, and something else. Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here, I bought it especially for you. Oh, a ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Here, let me... Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Ah, what was that? It's like something... I didn't mean to... Oh, God! What have I done? It feels... cold. What have you done? I had never felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me. It wanted to show me something. It's all falling apart. What? Yes, I know. No, I need to be sure. There's gotta be something around here. You want what? Fuck! Look who finally decided to let me out of my cage. And only when you need my help. Surprise. Surprise. Okay, you know what? I'm not in the mood. Just tell me what you see. Come on. Come on. Yes. I can feel it. Okay. It's around here. Somewhere. Oh, well, that's real fucking specific. Hey, I'm trying to help here. 
What? You know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, Christ. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. You know that. Well, screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? There. There. Where? What? What? You building tension? Grab the fucking thing! Do you shut up? He's obsessed. What is he? What have I done? We couldn't have known. I let him into my home. He was like a father to me. Fucking bastard! Who could he? I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? We wait. And when he comes back? Oh, just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, tiger. Remember what's at stake here. Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will kill him. Thomas, I wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? Did you do it, friend? Did I? What? My daughter. My 13-year-old daughter. I entrusted her to you. Thomas. Did you do it? I... I don't... I found the sketchbook. Forced myself to look through it. Cover to cover. Every single fucking page! Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I... It wasn't me. Thomas, you have to understand. There's a sting inside of me. Shut up. Oh, oh, oh. 
You have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas, I'm so sorry. She's my daughter! I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you did. No one shall see you. Knowing what she means to me. Thomas, I, I swear I'll go away. You'll never... Wait, not here. No, let me out. Let me out. Let me in. Cut it. 